hello guys welcome back to my channel it's veronica here how are you all doing if you're new to this channel my name is veronica i'm a mommy vlogger based here in houston texas and i am currently nine months pregnant um if you want you can go back to my videos and catch up on all of my pregnancy videos from my announcement to my first ultrasound to every single thing okay this has been an eventful pregnancy so there's <laughs> something there's something for you to watch and learn okay so today we are going to be doing what's in my hospital bag you guys it's almost time for baby to come um i am currently 38 weeks and four days um so baby will be coming anytime soon um i'm ready my hair is done my bags are packed baby's bag is also packed and we're ready to go anytime now we're just waiting on baby we're on the baby's clock we're on baby's clock right now we're waiting on baby but before we go into the bag i want to show you guys my shirt that i love so much this is what it says the baby made me eat it all of you that are looking for excuses because of baby that's why because of the pregnancy that's why i'm eating yes this shirt is for you because me this whole pregnancy i've been a foodie so <laughs> anyway so today i'm going to be showing you guys what's in my bag um like i said baby will be coming anytime from now actually i don't know what it is with this baby um for my second child by this time um when i had her i was already like my body was already preparing itself for labor i was already three centimeters i lost my mucus plug already but this one nothing is happening i am barely one centimeter my service is still very thick and high um and this was the same thing that happened with my son jason and i had him at almost 10 pounds so i am wishing i'm hoping this baby is not 10 pounds or even close to nine because I am good at making big babies and I don't want to go through all the traumas that I went through with the last ones. So this baby, we're just waiting for her to come. If she doesn't come, I've already set up my induction day. So I set up my induction for the next five days. Um, if she doesn't come before then, then I will be going in for my induction. I have my nurses all picked out because I work in labor and delivery. So I have the pleasure of picking my doctors, my nurses, the room that I'm gonna be in, that which you guys are gonna love by the way. Like I'm gonna be in a VIP room. I'll show you guys the room and everything. But anyway, so I've already picked my doctor, my nurses, um, my room, every my baby nurse, everything, the room I'm gonna be in postpartum, everything is set. We're just pretty much just waiting on this baby and like i said if she doesn't come out in the next five days i'm going in for an induction date is picked already time and everything everybody's we were just waiting okay we're just waiting but anyway let's dive into this video because i'm talking too much i have a list here of the things that they want me to bring so the hospital actually gives you a list of what you can bring to the hospital so i have my list here uh, I'm going to go down the list. Even though while I was packing, I actually didn't go through the list while I was packing. But um, I would love to see. I kind of packed based on my experience uh, with my first two and also working there in labor and delivery. But I'm going to go down this list to make sure I have everything, okay? So for my bag, this is a set. You can see this one says mommy bag. So that means my stuff are in here. The baby stuff is here too because... This one cannot fit all baby things. So this one says baby necessities and I'll show you the things that I put in there. And that one says mommy treasures. So that would be like my charger, lip balm, whatever, makeup, whatever I want to put in there. I love this set so much. My husband was asking me, so after baby, are you still gonna use this bag? What are you gonna do with this bag? We'll know when the time comes. Cause I was like, wait, that's true. But I just love it, okay? It makes me organized and know what's where. And all of this actually also fits in here. So it's not like I'm going to be packing them by itself, by themselves. I'm going to put all of this in the bag and carry, okay? The first thing on my list says identification. So both parents need to bring their government issued picture identification. So that's our driver's license. And then here I also have the hospital forms. Um, I have my hospital forms here, which is going to go into this bag when I'm done. And you guys, I've packed this bag already. Now I have to take everything out and repack again and pack again, but oh well. The next on the list says approved car seats. 
this must be installed in the car prior to taking your infant home so yes you have to have your car seat installed and then when it's time to go you take the car seat into the room the nurse has to see you put the baby in the car seat you can't just hold your baby like this i've watched some videos like um delivery videos from in Nigeria where you can just hold your baby like that and come out of the hospital no you have to put the baby in the car seat they have to see that the baby is secured and um, the car seat is is befitting and is good for a newborn okay so uh, we already have our car seat I'm using the same car seat that I use for Jayla it's still very new still very clean so that's what I'm using um, next it says cell phone and charger so we're gonna pack all of that I don't have that in my bag yet just because I'm still using my phone. I'm still using my charger. So I have five days. Um, so um, I'll pack those and I'm ready to go. Um, next year, it says video camera, camera, iPad, and charger. So I'm going to pack my camera. I'm going to pack my tripod. And um, my husband will pack his own things as well. Um, then next, it says comfortable clothing, nightgown, or pajamas, which I already have in here. You guys, should I just read everything here? So I'll read everything here and then I'll open and show you guys, okay? So it says comfortable clothing, nightgown or pajamas, nursing bras or nursing pad, underwear or robe. The hospital rooms can be very cold at times and also they will also offer you robes. But who wants to wear hospital robes like the time that you're there? You want to look cute. So I also have a robe in my bag. So yes, it says non-skid sock or a pair of slippers. I'll be taking my slippers. The hospital have um, non-skid socks, so that's what I will be using. I don't need to take my own socks. Even though I have, I can take actually, I can take my cute socks, which I don't have in here. So this is a reminder to put it in there. Breast pump or breast pump supplies. Um, my hospital actually provides breast pump and the supply, but I intend to take um, two five ounces bottle because the hospital gives you like two ounces and if you're lucky and you pump more than two it's not enough so i'll just take two bottles which are already washed i'm just waiting for them to for them to dry off and i'll put in my bag for the breast pump i don't need to take my breast pump i can always request from the hospital we have breast pumps at the hospital that they will give me to use while i am there um toiletries and personal items which is what will go into my mommy treasure i have not um, pack that yet because I mean I'm still using my my toiletries so toothpaste toothbrush eyeglasses contact lens supplies deodorant face wash body wash lotion lip balm shampoo conditioner headbands ponytail holder the hospital does not provide these things which is true so those are your personal stuff those are the things that I would have in this bag so it's still empty right now because I still have some days left, okay? Um, sanitary pad. The hospital will actually supply you with sanitary pad, but if you have a particular brand that you like, you can take yours. I actually don't really care for it, so I can use the hospital one. I'm not gonna be taking my own sanitary pad. A pillow and blanket if desired. What For my first two, I took my pillow to the hospital because I have a memory pillow and they're just so comfortable. So <laughs> I always take my pillows with me, but this time I decide, I've decided not to take the pillow because I am worried about COVID. I want to bring things home, okay? So things have changed, times have changed. I'm not taking my pillow with me this time. I'm just going to use the hospital pillow. Baby book to record delivery information. I have my baby book ready. I'm going to be taking that as well, which I haven't packed by the way. I'm supposed to pack it. I don't know why I didn't pack the baby book. I didn't think about it. I took baby book for Jason and Jayla and all they did was the footprint and I didn't do anything else after that. So I don't know. I don't think I want to take a baby book. Nursing pillow to help support your infant during feedings. Um, so that is another thing i don't think i'm going to be taking my nursing pillow either maybe i should but i don't want to because i don't want a situation where i'll take all of these things to the hospital and then i'll come back and have to wash them so um again times have changed covid and all of that so i might not bring my nursing pillow with me i can always use the pillows at the hospital to, to support breastfeeding 
infants clothing and blankets i have that already in there okay um and it says the hospital will provide blankets and clothing for your infants during the postpartum hospital stay however many parents prefer to bring these items from home at a minimum you will need to bring clothing for your baby to wear home so yes i have i'll show you guys okay well let's get into the bag and maybe i should put the bag right here so you guys can see that way i'm not backing you guys and going this way okay if i put it here you guys can see it right here let's open all right so the first thing i have in here so these things are not from sheen okay <laughs> this is probably an advert for sheen i have sheen bags you know when you order from sheen they do they put their stuff in this bag and for some reason i always save the bag so i decided i was going to use them this time so that i know what's where that way i'm not scattering the bag every time that i need something okay so in this bag I, like i said i did not get these things from sheen I did not get any of this from Shane. Again, I'm saying it's okay. I'm just using their bag. So in here, I have my bonnet. So as I'm doing, I'm just going to put them back so that way um, I'm not scattering things all over the place and the bag will be set. Here, I have my bonnet um, just for comfort and also at night when I want to sleep. And then I have my nursing bra. I have them in two different colors, the, in black and in nude, okay? So the nursing bra, the nursing bra is, is just pretty much like this, okay? This is it. Uh, when you want to nurse, you just unhook here and you're still wearing it and you just unhook it. When you're done breastfeeding, you hook it back up, okay? That's what the nursing bra is and i have that in two colors in black and in nudes and i also have my underwear here which you don't need to see i have some underwear there my comfortable underwear but you guys am i the only one that love the hospital mesh that grandma panties that they wear you guys i wear it i even bring it home for the first week so that way it's comfortable and it already hurt down there tmi but the that pants is very um very comfortable and I'm seeing myself using that. I'm just bringing extra just in case. Okay, so that's that one. And then in here, I have my robe. Remember, and at least they said to bring your robe. Um, I have my robe here. I got this from Amazon. So it's just a normal robe, right? So I have the robe here, and then I have the baby wrapper. So me and my baby are gonna be twinning with the bowl that came with the thing, okay, to put on the baby's head. So it's a robe and baby um, blanket. And then here, the next thing inside the bag is my breastfeeding gown. Um, this gown, I love it so much. I'm going to open it for you guys, okay? So this is how the breastfeeding dress is. You can see this side right here and this side. So those are zippers. Um, you can just zip on, zip it and um, breastfeed. Let me show you. Unzip it like that, breastfeed. When you're done breastfeeding, you zip it back. Why still looking decent, okay? I love this so much. And I also got this from Amazon. Next, I have my nightwear and my going home. So I have my nightie here and I have my going home dress here. Um, let me show you real quick, okay? So I have my nightie up and down, very comfortable. My husband bought this for me. I've not actually worn them yet. So it's like... A pants, a shirt. So this is all. This will also be good for breastfeeding. Um, I can also wear it to lounge at the hospital. You guys, I'm only gonna be staying one night, too, meaning two days. Um, the day that I deliver, the next day I'll be discharged. But I like to overpack. <laughs> I rather have more than have less. Okay. And then here I have my coming home dress. I decided to pick a dress first of all because I want to be free. I don't want to wear pants. And second of all, I just, I just, yeah, I just want something free. Okay. So I'm coming with this dress. I'll be coming home with a just a simple dress like that is very free. Okay. Next in my hospital bag, I have my baby things. So now we're gonna be seeing baby stuff. Okay. Done with my own things. 
we're gonna go to baby stuff next um in here i have like beads so i have beads um i have um burp clothes that's what this is like something you just put here when you're trying to burp the baby so i have burp clothes i put like how many of these did i put in here i have two of this in here and then i have baby blankets in here as well i don't know if you guys want to see it but i have baby blankets in here here so here's the baby blankets so i have two of these i brought two baby blankets two or three burp clothes and then i have a couple of um beeps i don't know if i'm going to be needing the beeps anyway it's not like i'm going to be bottle feeding there but we don't know right it's better to have more things than to have less the next baby bag that i have i have clothes for newborn now i brought clothes for newborn and i bought clothes for zero to three months judging from experience i've taken newborn clothes to the hospital before and it didn't fit my kids like i said i am very good at making big babies so newborn diaper doesn't work for us and newborn clothes doesn't work for us I always have to do zero to three months for clothes and I have to do size one for diapers. So shout out to you guys that bought me diapers. Thank you for not buying newborn because <laughs> it won't fit. When I had Jason, actually, um, the, the nurse brought out a newborn. They brought a newborn to my room, newborn diaper to my room. When they saw Jason, as soon as they saw Jason, they were like, nope, this diaper is not going to work. They took all the diapers out and brought all size one, okay? So um i have uh newborn clothes here and then i have zero to three months here i'm not going to open the newborn just because we might not use them um i'm just going to go straight to the zero to three so i just brought a couple of onesies that baby's going to wear in a complete outfit this one is a complete outfit this is so cute look at that this is so cute. So this is a complete outfit for the baby. This is the top of that pants and it says, yes, I believe in magic. So this is a complete set right here. And then I have here another pants or leggings or whatever we want to call it. This is also zero to three months. You can see it there. Okay. I have one Z here so cute i have a onesie here i packed yeah just one onesie um one complete outfit one onesie and then i packed a 90 for baby to wear like just this overall 90 to wear like i said we're not going to be at the hospital for too long the next day we're going to be discharged by the grace of god so i didn't want to pack too much at the same time i don't want to pack, pack less and then here I just brought like two onesies, uh, white onesies, zero to three months as well. I don't know if you can see, focus, focus, focus. Zero to three months onesie, um, just short, leave, short sleeves um, to wear under their, the outfit. So you can wear this under this nightie and you can wear this under um the going home clothes which i'm going to show you guys next okay and then next on here is our going home clothes like this like they said on the list you need a going home clothes because even if you don't bring any clothes and at the hospital you're just wrapping the baby like a burrito at least bring something to um wear home you know baby clothes to wear home okay wear home clothes so this is what i'm taking for baby to wear home this is so cute I don't know why I feel like it's gonna be too big for the baby, but this is so cute. That's the top part, the bottom, and it comes with the headband, okay? And as far as clothing, that's it for baby's clothes, okay? You don't need to pack so much. Also, um, for hospitals here, you don't need to pack your diapers or wipes 
they already have all of that but i still brought of uh, uh wipes by the way so now we're done with the mommy bag we're gonna go straight into the baby necessities okay we're gonna go straight to the baby necessities and um like i was saying earlier for baby you don't really need to pack much except for clothes for baby to wear and also for um maybe beeps and stuff like that um burp clothes and, and stuff but don't take too much okay you don't need diapers you don't need wipes because the hospital provides diapers and wipes but because me i'm very anal when it comes to my wipes and i said it in my um, unboxing of the gift that I got from my baby shower that I only use water wipes for my baby as uh, once they're from newborn to their from newborn to their one year old I use water wipes just because I don't want to deal with rashes I don't want to deal with chemicals eating up their skin water wipes is just water and the wipes to be honest that's it like it says on here it says 99.9% .9 water okay so that's what I prefer to use so that's why I'm taking mine, but you typically do not need, if you don't care, if you're one of those friends that don't really care for wipes like that, you know, you're not picky like me. I have sensitive skin, so I'm very particular with what I put on my kids. That's why I go with this one. So I'm going to be taking this with me. And next in the baby necessities bag, I have the baby's pacifier. I don't typically, my kids don't typically like using pacifiers which is a blessing because i don't have to try to win them off pacifiers but i just like to have them just in case i took them to the hospital for jason he didn't use pacifier jay last time i bought some more Jayla didn't use them and this time around i'm gonna take some as well i know i'm hoping this baby doesn't use them actually i'm taking them but i'm hoping that she doesn't use them just because i don't want to have to deal with trying to win babies off of pacifiers like you know when they're almost one year old still using pacifiers so if she doesn't use it praise the lord if she wants to it's right here okay and then the last thing in the baby necessity bag is i just have like hats for baby so hats for baby i have them actually i brought two so this fancy one and this regular one okay so i have two hats here like i said we're only going to be there to the next day okay when baby is born today the next day we get discharged so it's going to be this two right here and then i brought headbands just in case because the hospital one is coming out so I, depending on how big the baby's head is so i have this size and i have this size as well and then i brought socks they have socks at the hospital actually but i just brought socks just just to have them okay um i brought two pairs two pairs of socks just um nothing fancy the fancy socks i left them at home we're going to be using those at home but just to come back home to uh, after from the hospital and want to wear at the hospital again the hospital has it but i just brought it just in case this video is getting too long i'm rushing i'm almost done and then i have meetings here um just so baby doesn't scratch her face so i have one two three i brought a bunch of meetings actually four so i brought four meetings I do have one fancy socks here, which I doubt that I, the baby will be wearing, but I do have one fancy socks here, okay? So, three socks. And then I have just wash clothes, which hospital has as well, but I'm just bringing wash clothes just to have it, okay? Just in case. So, that's it. That's everything that I have um, that I'm taking with me to the hospital. So, the only thing left now is for my husband to pack his bags. I already told him me and baby are ready but you know guys like they just pick your shirts or a pants here and there and they're, they're they're ready they don't do all this drama like us pick one or two things here shirts here pants here and they're, they're done again we're only going to be there one day so it doesn't really need much um just to brush and toiletries that's all um so he's the only one left he'll probably pack a, a backpack and that's it i hope this video helps somebody that's all that I have to show you guys. If there's something that I did not put in the description box and you want to know where I got it from, you can go ahead and message me um, down below in the comment section. If you want a direct message, my 
Instagram is going to be somewhere up here, I believe. Um, you can send me a DM and I'll let you know where I got the stuff from. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming along with me. Now we're looking forward to the delivery vlog. Uh, that's the next thing. No more videos. The next video you're going to see is the delivery vlog. Like I said, we're ready to run out of this house at any point, okay? So I won't be sitting down to do any more videos um, except for my delivery vlog. That's the next thing, okay? See you guys in my next video. Thank you and I love you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and turn on your bell notification. Thank you. Bye.